I'm going to show you how to set up the tampering detection analytic. We go into the setup menu under analytics, go to tampering detection, and we simply enable it. And then there's a level of detection that we can adjust up or down. The lower it is, the more sensitive it will be. As we increase the sensitivity, the level of detection will, the graph will increase. So we can adjust those two options as needed. There's a minimum duration to make sure it's not just a, just a short term event. Uh, so you can say you know, it has to be more than 20 seconds, whatever it might be. There's also an option to disable this when the camera is dark. Uh, so for example, at nighttime, it might not be able to see enough depending on, on, on the scene. So we can have it be disabled. Once we have everything set, we can hit apply. I uh, lowered my level of detection, increased my sensitivity, shortened my minimum duration, just to make it easier to show, to demonstrate here. And I go up and rotate the camera and you'll see it crosses the threshold. And after 10 seconds, we'll see the red box around the preview video here. And there we go. And then once it detects it, it drops down. It's now gonna learn the new scene to be able to tell me if there's tampering on the camera again. And so you'll see when I rotate the camera back to its normal position, that will trigger another tampering detection. And there we go. Again, it will after 10 seconds. Same thing if we cover or block the camera. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.